Welcome to one of the uh, smallest unboxings I think we've done on this channel. This is the GoSund uh, Smart Plug. It's the UP111 version, so it's the circular plug. Um, we've got the usual stuff on the box where you've got a QR code for the GoSmart app. We're not actually going to use the GoSmart app today, we're going to use the uh, Smart Life app. Uh, various bits and pieces on here about this. You've got to remember this, these use the 2.4 gigahertz, so you need that set up on your home Wi Fi or wherever you're going to use this particular plug. Usual things on the box where it's made. So let's have a look, see what we've got inside. Okay, so we've got, hopefully, it's not too smart, it's just well folded. So a full on um, instruction manual here, which uh, let's have a look, looks well laid out. We've got all the bits and pieces on here about what's in here, about the app itself, uh, the Go Smart app. Again, we're going to go through setting up on the Smart Life app and the fact, again, it's got pointing out on here how you need to get the plug uh, set up when you first plug it in. Again, we're going to cover that today. And there's other bits and pieces, a bit of troubleshooting on there and about aftercare as well. So let's have a look at the plug itself. And there's not a lot of wasted gel on the packet, which is nice. So um, it's a usual usual plug. Uh, oh, there we've got the uh, watts that it can take there. So I was, was right to uh, 1,300 or 2.3 kilowatts um, in the UK. Uh, usually do the batch test and check those. They seem fairly robust. We've got the particular uh, switch on the side there, which we again will do in a minute. So uh, let's get this plugged in and get ready to set it up. Right, time to get uh, the plug plugged in and uh, set up ready to do in the Smart Life app. So you literally plug it in as you would do normally, and then there should be uh, the light should start flashing. There are instructions on how to do this. If that's rapidly blinking, we're in good shape. I'm hoping you can see that there. That's rapidly blinking. So that's ready now to be set up within the app itself. So what I'm going to do now is just flip over to my smartphone and I'm going to go through the setup process. Okay, so I'm now in the Smart Life app. I've put a link in the description below for you to install it. You can see my other devices which are already on screen. So I'm just going to press the plus button in the very top right hand corner. And then that brings up the options that we can add. So I'm just going to do the uh, socket Wi-Fi option, which is the first uh, top left. So we click on that one. It's just confirming that uh, it is actually uh, rapidly blinking at the moment. It also gives you some handy instructions there on how to reset it. But again, that will be linked to the user manual stuff, which is already here. So I'm going to confirm the indicators rapidly blinking. So we'll confirm that. And this is also my 2.4 uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi, this specific extension. I mean, you can't see that at the moment, but I'm just going to confirm those details now because that's what the plug's going to hook up to. So we'll confirm that, then that goes off and does what it needs to do. So hopefully this will be a fairly quick process. And then that will come back uh, with or uh, recognize the plug. And then um, we can use it on the various other options I've got. So I'll do a quick test after this on Alexa and also Google Home. And we'll give that a few seconds. So hopefully that should find that particular device, which it looks like it has. And it's now registering it on the cloud. And then it'll initialize. And there we have it. We have a mini smart plug and that's the name. Uh, I'm just going to change that name now just to something a little bit easier for us to work with on this video. So I'm going to use it to do a test on one of my filming lights. So I'm going to put filming light in there so that we can just, when we ask, uh, use voice control on it, it works a bit better. So I've changed that to filming light and as you can see it's successful and now we put that done. And that one has now come up and also on here it's also stated that my Alexa's automatically have found that as well and that would also be the same with Google Home which would do the same uh, along the bottom of the app we've got the power options here so we can obviously switch it on switch it off we've got the timer option here as well which you can add schedules to again that can do that at your leisure uh, also have a countdown timer so you can set it to go off in a certain amount of time which we're not going to look at at the moment and also a really handy function on here is also electricity consumption so this is also works as a energy monitor which is fantastic so uh, what we're going to do is come out of my phone now and uh, going to do a, a few tests time to give it a go now and just test the plug does what it says on the tin I've uh, got my filming lights, uh, this one here uh, plugged into the plug now uh, just quickly check the on off button which you can see if responsive works perfectly, as it should do. So now we're going to check in uh, on the voice assistance because we already checked out 
the Smart Life app as part of the setup. I'll just switch the power on and off on that and that worked fine. So first of all, we'll uh, try out with our Google friend here. So switch off filming light. Sure, turning off the filming light. Switch on filming light. Okay, turning the filming light on. So that's one done. So let's uh, figure out the other one. Switch off filming light. Switch on filming light. And there we have it, a successful test. All set up, working in Smart Life and voice assistants are A-OK. -okay.